Okay, the sound should be playing now. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, don't worry, I was doing a couple of tests earlier. Sound should be loud and clear. How is everything? How is everything for you guys? I bumped up the volume on my mic just a little bit. I'm making sure that it's not obnoxiously loud. Okay, okay. All right, awesome. All right. Now, let me uh, give me a minute. I'm going to turn off the lights, try to get myself a little comfy. Um, should be good. Yeah, the game audio should be playing, although I did lower the volume for the game just a little bit more than usual. But that's because the game is kind of loud. All right, so give me a second while I sort of get myself comfy. Hold on a sec. Alright, so the game audio is fine. I do see the uh, the I do see the frequency for it, so I'm not sure what it is about it that you're not able to hear. I mean, granted, in the menu for the game, you hear like this ominous sound. But then once I'm here in this menu, there's nothing. So don't worry too much about it. Alright. So let me make sure something here. So, a turbo is still on, making sure that that's the thing. That That's the most important thing here right now. And we're good. Let's go. Okay, you should be hearing the game audio now. This is louder than normal. Uh, do you hear it now, Charles? I hope you do. Nah, no custom controls. I keep it all default and I just use the back buttons on my Elite controller for any additional customizations that I want to do. Alright, so I do have some Proud Souls that I can spend. What can I spend it on? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna spend it on speed just a little bit, because I think from here on out I'm gonna be doing a lot more exploration. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get that one out of the way. And that's about all I can do. Okay. <sighs> I guess you're right. It kind of is, uh, is pointless, I suppose. You know what? Let me get rid of that for, for the time being. And put it on Table Hopper. That should be a lot better. Yeah, Table Hopper is a better choice. Uh, I'm at Mission 8 in Devil May Cry 4. I still have not reached Dante yet, but it looks like I might. In just a couple more missions, I'll finally be able to play as Dante. So, let's go. Let's not waste time. Moving on forward.
Let's open that up. And move forward. Yeah, it totally is unplayable without the turbo. You know, I lost count on the Kyria count. I want to say it was five. Okay, no more falling. Hey, what's up, Chroma? It's nice to see all you guys coming in here. I'm so glad. I want to try to make this stream a little bit more interesting for everybody. What's up, Trollzor? Let's see. Was this a secret mission that I had done before? Yeah, right? Yeah, this was one that I had done before. So, where am I supposed to go? I'm trying to remember that now. I believe I had to get to, um... Let's see. I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to remember. I know in the last mission that I did, I was fighting against the boss. Um, and after fighting the boss... Oh, okay, okay, so we got a spot here. Hey, remember these guys? It is so cool that these are the enemies that come from the first game. I had no idea that was the case. They're still annoying though. What's up, Mark? How's it going? Once again, I'm really happy to see all you guys come on in. This is wonderful. I love you guys so much. <laughs> I feel so welcome. I'm just trying to remember what it is I needed to do. It seems like the Sephirotic fruit is somehow reacting to that strange tree. There we go, so that's where we gotta go.
<laughs> Love that taunt. Dude, everything alright, Chroma? I'm so sorry to hear that anything bad may have happened. I really hope things go well for you if that's the case. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to remember what was the pattern for getting across this area. Was it the middle part first? And then you had to go left? Oh no! Don't worry, Mark. As soon as you were asking me about my uh, my Twitter profile, I knew immediately that that was you, uh, Suzaku. Don't worry. I can put two and two together. Hey, I spy with my little eye another blue orb. The dangers of being too nice. I think that's the that's the story of my life. <laughs> Sometimes I can be too nice, and I'm trying my best to make sure that I have at least a much more level-headed way of handling things in life. Okay, so, middle, and then was it right? Let me see. This is the part that always bothers me. I can never remember the pattern. And then I think it was left once, like once again, or middle, then right, then left. Yeah, there we go. Got the pattern. For Dante, the pattern is different. Damn it! It's like I'm having trouble fighting these little enemies because they always sneak in one hit while I'm trying to get them. Just follow the shadows? I actually didn't know that. Wow. Now I feel like a fool. I'll keep that in mind the next time I run through this area. Ah, here we go. Yeah, I never realized there was a shadow. See, so it wasn't just me, okay? Although, yeah, I should have read the note. The trees cast a shadow. Huh. Yeah, I rarely play the campaign. All, all I do is play the freaking, uh, um, Bloody Palace. <laughs> Yeah, this is probably one of the best boss battles in this game. And even I know that, because I, I always fight this guy on a regular basis in, in the Bloody Palace. Granted, I do it with Dante more than I do with uh, Nero. Let's see how I face off against this guy with Nero. Okay, well then let me ask you this. What exactly is the order after? And who the hell is Dante? You do not demand answers from me! 
How about we beat this angel and put him back in Purgatorio? Let's do it! My timing for catching that thing is a little off. I'm gonna try to catch it. Come on. want to snatch that. Not the most impressive fight I've ever done. That could have gone way better, but yeah, my strategy for fighting against this guy with uh, Nero leaves a lot to be desired. I know I still won, but I wanted to put in put on an impressive show, but you know, it's gonna be a while before I can do that. I really need to get all those abilities unlocked. I'm hoping that by the time I get to play as Dante, I can afford a lot of good stuff. Oh, also, hello, Kyrie. 
Damn it! You saw my hand! It's not what it looks like. No, wait. This isn't what you think. Why? Why did you do this? <laughs> it was our intentions to protect you from the truth. Nero is a demon. You son of a... Nero! What he means to say is that he's a demon in bed. Thank you very much. I'll be here all night. go this is the part where she becomes the damsel in distress offering and nothing else than just nero having a reason to rescue someone where is he taking her back to headquarters i'd assume so nero we must set aside this battle until i find out the truth of this Aegis Shield, shield once held by Credo. Those who take it up will find a new source of power. What kind of power? Well, nothing really special. By the way, something that I was reading up on the chat that you guys were mentioning, I do think DMC5 is going to be designed in such a way to make it accessible for the new players. Like I almost expect that it's going to have a ton of things that will try to detail how to play the game properly. I mean, it's coming in with a really detailed tutorial system through the uh, practice training room. Hey, hey, how's it going Famer? What's up my buddy? Not much here, just playing, you know, some DMC4, kicking ass, laying back, chilling. You know the deal. Also, let's power up uh, Nero. I think I have enough to get a couple of more interesting things. Let's see. Let me refund this and go for Let's see. Damn, I really want to get max act. Oh, you know what? Let me go for egg seed 3. Bayonetta in general has never been really good at teaching players how to get good at it. They just show you a picture of, hey, this is a weekend weave, now go do it. That's that's their whole philosophy. And on the one hand, you know, I like that. I mean, no, no, I don't even want to say I like that. I can understand why they did it like that, where Hideki Kamiya wants people to experiment and discover a lot of things for themselves. But I also feel that you're alienating a lot of people who may not understand what it like, may not have the time to look into all the advanced techniques, especially those that are never really told to you up front. It can be kind of a it, it's kind of a double edged sword. You're bringing in the hardcore audience, but you're alienating the casuals. 
you have to find some way to bring everyone together and that's not exactly the easiest thing to do. Because if you favor too much for the casuals, you're going to alienate the pros. But if you favor too much for the pros, you're going to alienate the casuals. It is the toughest line to break. And believe me, I've seen that firsthand with Bayonetta 2. That's a game that was made more for the casuals than the hardcore audience. All right, here we go. Let's locate Captive Kyrie. Hey, the second devil, don't even worry about it. Here's the thing that I've come to learn about DMC DMC. It's not a bad game. If anything, I think DMC DMC is a, a fairly good game in its own right. I think the only real problem that it has outside of a lot of the missing advanced techniques is the fact that it's a game that's heavily riding on the popularity of Devil May Cry in general. So while it may be a good game on its own right, the fact that it tales behind what we know and in love about Devil May Cry and it puts all of that aside to be something brand new that's kind of a bad thing for some people you get me I I'm of the fair believer that DMC DMC should have just been a totally different game unrelated to Devil May Cry it probably would have been a lot more acceptable Yeah, the PR for from Ninja Theory did not make Devil May Cry any better than it needed to be. Like they were saying stuff like, "Ah, 60 frames per second? You don't need 60 frames per second. That That's probably one of the worst things you could ever say to anybody who loves action games. It, it's not about fluidity, it's about timing and precise nature, you know what I mean? 60 frames per second helps you to to get all those inputs correctly. At 30 frames, it makes things a little bit harder. So, for the for the PR to be saying stuff like DMC DMC doesn't need to be 60 frames per second is just total nonsense. Yeah, man, they were just digging a hole to make they were digging a hole trying to defend DMC. It really did make the game a lot worse than it needed to be. El Donte Exterminador de Demonios. I fucking love that video. It's a shame that that th there were two videos made for El Donte, and one of them has been blocked by YouTube for stupid, um, you know, copyrighted reasons or something. You know, I hate it when that happens. You know.
Okay. What's this? Yeah, I agree. We really should have more fans creating these types of games. It's like I told you a long time ago. There is a... If, if I ever got into game designing, I have a particular video game that I would love to create. I have a sketchbook that's focused on one particular kind of video game that I would like to make. An action game centered around music. You guys, you guys might remember me saying that. So, yeah. Yeah, Quicksilver. You know what's funny though? We are going to get some form of Quicksilver in DMC5 through the use of one of the, the Devil Breakers that allows you to control time. It looks pretty freaking sick if you ask me. Ragtime, there we go. Such a cool name for a weapon too. Honestly, I love all the names of the weapons that we've gotten for a Devil Breaker so far. They're very creative. Ah, oh, yeah, I know. I'm upset that Agni and Rugdra are not coming back. I hope Nevin comes back. I don't care how, if it has to be DLC, I want that weapon to come back. I fucking love Nevin. Yeah, Nevin is amazing. Oh shit! I took my hands off the controls for a second. The bicycle is an amazing uh, weapon though, nothing wrong with that, even if it is a little overpowered. Some people are worried that you can stay in the air too long with, those, with that weapon. What was it called? Cavalier, right? There we go. I've activated Nevin. You can't see it because it's invisible. I think this is a glitch. Come on. Alrighty. Oh wait, hold on. I do have orbs that I can uh used to purchase things.
I'm actually worried that Dante cannot drop or barely drops when using Rainstorm. There better be a good reason for that. Let's rock and roll all day long, sweet Susie. Get out of here. I think DOA 6 is fun. Me and my friends were playing it the other day. I have fun playing as heavy characters like Bass. Honestly, I've been a little out of touch with some of the newer fighting games these days. At some point, I would really like to dedicate myself to Soul Calibur 6. Um, and also, I really want to get back to playing Dragon Ball Fighters. If only because Videl is now available, and I love Videl. Like, Videl was actually a character that I wanted to see in Dragon Ball Fighters, and now that she's available, well, you know, I just haven't gone around to playing the game. As for DOA, I think it's looking pretty cool. I feel sorry for you. Jump Force from the very start looked pretty bad to me. I don't know what it is, but anime characters looking hyper realistic with them detailed textures just doesn't look right to me. I 
I have a friend who's playing the game and he thinks it's pretty cool, but every time I try it out, ugh, something about it just rubs me the wrong way. And it's not even because I don't like 3D fighters. I, I do have a soft spot for 3D fighting games. Just ugh, something about it feels off. The ability to punch the floor can fix bridges. Who'da thunk it? Let's see. Oh no, you're definitely right. J-Star has a better roster than, than Jump Force. I hate the fact that Jump Force is, uh, <laughs> for a lack of a better term, uh, term, uh, jumping towards the idea of just using DLC to bring characters that people expect the most. It's just, uh, that really rubs me the wrong way. You know, I'm inclined to agree with you. I think even though Nero is badass, there's really not much to his personality. Although, to be honest, you know, like, you gotta remember, it was a rushed game. DMC4 was kind of rushed. Uh, it does look like they're fleshing him out a bit more in DMC5, for the better. Is this the right way? I want to make sure. No, I just got to find that bridge. What do we got here? Why, it's nothing more than a bunch of lovely ghosts. Fifteen years? <laughs> how about a million years? Or how about not? Time to fight this dude. I actually love the design for this creature. Looks pretty freaking badass.
I don't know if DMC2 needs a remake. For me, if a game is bad, there's no real reason to go back and try to fix it. A bad's a game always. I mean, I, I know it, I sound very stubborn when I say that, but there's a lot of times where a game doesn't really need a remake. For me, a remake is only necessary if it's a game that's really good, but it's held, by, held back by certain limitations. For example, Resident Evil. I think that deserved a remake because the first game was amazing, but it was held back by the technology of the PlayStation 1. With the remake, the game ended up becoming a lot better. It looked a lot more scarier. Everything was a lot more detailed. Everything was more gruesome. That's why I honestly hate people who keep saying there should be a remake for Sonic 06. Like, really? You want a remake of that game? Why? It was a bad game to begin with. There's no fixing it. You have to learn from your mistakes. Hold on. Making sure that I'm going the right way. Where do I go from here? Come on. Drop down. Yeah. I'm trying to remember where 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 the heck was that um, that door that opened? Oh, right here. Damn it! I didn't notice it. I'm a dumbass. Okay, there we go. Quicksilver! Oh yeah, this room. <laughs> oh god. I forgot about this bit. Vermifuge. Eliminate all the Chimera before the Scarecrow has taken over. Ah, oh, I forgot about this mission.
<laughs> there was a way to do this, and it was the easiest way was to grab the the demon and then take it to the very top of the area and then come back down and destroy all the chimeras. Unfortunately, I do not have the ability to grab enemies just yet. So I'm going to leave that aside for now. Buster, I know that. Wait. Do I actually have that ability naturally? I thought it was an ability I had to purchase. I'll check with the next enemy. If I have it, maybe I'll go back and try to fix that uh try to do that uh that secret mission. Okay, so I got it from Credo then. Okay, never mind. Once again, I am a dumbass. You guys are doing a better job of explaining the game than I can. <laughs> I know it's the double bringer that's able to hold the enemies. I thought it was an ability that I had to purchase. That's all. The wing talisman is beginning to vibrate in resonance with this machine. You use the wing talisman.
Hey now, isn't this where we're introduced to a new set of enemies? Or not yet. I think that's with Dante. to the face. There we go. <laughs> what a way to finish that guy. Let's see, what was this one? Free running, reach the goal without falling through the vanishing floor. Uh, I'm gonna skip this one because there's actually a much easier method of doing this. And it involves using uh, Dante's, uh, uh, what was the name of that weapon? The one that has 666 guns? Or maybe I could do this, who knows. Ah, there I go. Yeah, Pandora. <laughs> that was the name of the weapon. <laughs> Thank you guys for being on the dot. Took you so long. You. What are you doing here? Forget it. I don't have time for this. And neither do I. So I'll cut to the chase. I'm here for the sword. Your point being. Here we go, let's see if I can handle Dante.
Damn, I'm really out of practice. Fuck it.
Wait, I think I chose the wrong selection. Um, but this gives me a chance to uh, pick out something different. Um, Yeah, that was my fault. All that hard work for nothing. Kinda how when he hate when these enemies are behind the wall. I know jump cancel grabs work, believe me. If I had jump cancel, I would have killed these guys a lot quicker. Uh, hold on. I gotta um, shake it off right now. For some reason, I'm feeling uh, a bit enraged and I shouldn't be. I know I could do better. So I'm gonna um, try to relax a bit more. Ah, fuck it, I'm skipping the fight.
God, I, I should not be messing up a lot now. Alright, let's see if I can do that secret mission. I should be able to grab him, right? Let's see. Yeah, okay, so I can. Oh, fuck, man! Just leave them up there and then beat the rest of the chimeras here. There we go. Where did it go, huh? Hey, cheating or not, it's the most viable way to do it. Man, this segment is not fun to fight because the camera keeps rotating around which messes with my control. There we go. Okay, here we go. Up the stairs as fast as we can. Come on. There we go. Shit! Come on! There we go. Yeah, Chaser Tech. There, there's plenty. No, oh, okay. Um, you want a really good Devil May Cry 4 guide? Look up 2B Power. That's 2, number 2, B, E, Power. This guy did a phenomenal tutorial on all the advanced mechanics for DMC4. I highly recommend you guys check that out if you want to learn how to do some of the more advanced tech in the game. It certainly has helped me edge the edge a little bit forward with how the game plays most of it is centered around dante but he does try to go into some details with other characters but it's mostly a dante center tutorial it's phenomenal
It's a really good video to watch. I highly recommend it. Oh my god, I'm doing way worse than before, Jesus Christ! Yeah, sure, go ahead, tell me a joke. You wanna roast me? That's fine, too. <laughs> oh, really? That's bad. <laughs> That's really bad. Which one was this secret mission again? Oh yeah, this one. Maybe I can do it if I put a little bit of effort to it? Let's see. Oh great! I quit! I'll do that secret mission another time. Okay, so this is where we meet up, we, we meet up with Dante, yada yada yada. Let's actually play the game. Let's see if I can do it.
Man, this whole fight is tedious in general. Got him. Uh, alrighty, alrighty. I'm feeling a lot better. But of course, Dante always overcomes in the fight no matter what happens. But that's only because Dante is a lot more experienced in this whole thing. You cooled off yet, kid. What's the matter? Why the glare? Look as if you've just been playing me from the beginning. That sword was used to separate our world from the demons. I can't <laughs> that kind of power floating around. Cowboy pants show. uncle. <laughs> That's a good one actually. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to reserve that for another time. If you don't mind. Then keep it. Now that you're calm and cool, <laughs> get going. Would you look at that? Uncle Dante is letting Nero keep his brother's prized possession. Hey! What's your name? Nero, you're Dante, right? Not a bad name. Neither is yours. Oh my. Um, thanks for the ass. I really needed that view. No, seriously, I needed it. <laughs> suits you I dress to impress are you sure you want to let and there we go the Trish that we all know yeah, and love I, he can bear the burden. I know it's not my business but this could get ugly well if the kid screws up then I'll just have to kick his ass All right. It's still not over. We need to get to the next boss, defeat that guy, and then we'll be able to play as Dante. And I really want to get to playing as Dante already. I'm so, so eager to just start playing around with him. But until then, we still got to handle um, Nero. And honestly... Let's do something a little bit different. I think I'm going to need that jump cancel. So, let's see. Let's refund everything and start all over. Making sure that this time we get enemy step as one of our early abilities. Because we're going to need it for the boss that we're going to be dealing with. Meanwhile, roulette spin to keep myself in the air. Along with exceed, streak, and streak 2. Along with caliber and split. And for good measure, Red Queen combo B. Charge shot is important. For Yamato. Let's put in Trigger Heart to make it last a, lo a little longer. Actually, no. Hold on. 
I'm definitely gonna need air hike. <coughs> Excuse me. Apparently somebody's talking about me behind my back. Let's see. And table hopper. And that's about it. Okay, we're good. Okay, finally, I got enemy step. We're gonna need it for the boss. Let's do it! Let's kick some ass! The Advent Chamber. Yeah, that was me. I sneezed. There we go. All right, there we go. My jump canceling skills are not as good as you think they are. Believe me, I still got a long way to go before I, I feel more comfortable saying that I'm really good, which I'm not. Really, the idea behind jump canceling is to know the timing and to know the hitbox or the hurtbox of the enemy you're dealing with. Some enemies have big hitboxes, they're really easy to jump off of, like Frost. Some enemies, like the, the giant uh, voodoo creature, I keep forgetting her name, Big Scarecrow, they're a little harder to, to jump off of because they have a really weird hitbox design. So keep that in mind and I think you'll be fine.
There we go. How about I just leave that guy alone? Okay, what did that open? The elevator all the way down there. Snap, did not mean to do that. There we go. Nah, that's enough fighting enemies. 
They keep coming back! I think it's just an infinite respawn kind of thing. I don't know. I'm trying to remember how to fight this boss. I may end up having a lot more trouble than I need needed to be just because I forgot. But I'm going to try my best. Is it not beautiful? I think we got a difference of opinion on that one. How unfortunate. So what we have here is Balder has captured Ceresa and put it into his chest to power himself up. Wait, wrong game. Is it not your wish to become one with her? Within the Savior, your mortal bodies will combine, melting into one to manifest and create his core, a thing of utter and pure beauty. <laughs> Please stop praying for my grandpa. You are making him too strong. He just broke out of, out of the hospital and the cops can't catch him. Stop. I love that picture, by the way, the one with Dante. This is your chance to catch a glimpse of the true power of our savior. We did it, guys. We ended up praying for a tough grandpa. And so he has summoned Solaris. Oh shit. Alright, here we go. This is going to get really annoying really fast. Yeah. 
she just keeps fucking running away. Let's see if I can time it. Ah, damn it. There we go. That's a cheap shot, putting in his girlfriend to make sure that he doesn't hurt her. You little shit. I must salute a man who carries the blood of Sparta. While not in Dante's league, you still presented a harder fight than I had anticipated. Dante? I had originally intended to absorb him into our savior. But circumstance presenting, I'd rather choose the option at hand. Come on, Nero! Listen to the stranger! No, it was just Credo! gonna hear from Kiri for a while. We're not even gonna hear Nero yell out Kiri for a while. What a shame. Just when the story was getting really enthralling. Look at them jiggle physics, man. Oh my god. Gloria. Unfortunately, you did not anticipate a descendant of Sparta's blood. And because of this boy, you have been outwitted and the savior will be completed. I don't know. I'd wager this kid still got some life in him. I need more power. So I need more dramatic. motivation. Besides, if you die without giving my sword back, I'm going to be pissed. And you certainly don't want Dante to be pissed. Then come and get it. <laughs> what a punk. What a punk indeed.
but at least he gets to spend some time with his hot girlfriend out in the void. You know what it is that bothers me about Kyrie? She has this look whenever she's concerned about Nero that it kind of looks like she's not even interested in being Nero's girlfriend. You get what I mean? I mean, yeah, she's really happy to be with him, but there's always those moments where she has that reluctant look on her face that makes me think, oh, she doesn't really want to be Nero's girlfriend. We haven't even touched first base! We didn't hold hands! Why didn't we hold hands? And so the flying Gundam was summoned from church and off into the sky it takes. <laughs> Check it out. It's got wings. <laughs> the design shows terrible taste. Hey, where's that thing going? It's not complete yet, is it? in his heart to save the world from chaos he will begin by driving it out now he has what he needs Yamato you mean Kalmato? his body used it to seal the hell gate from the demon world I could sure go for a drink right now since you mentioned it the sword is the key to opening the hell gate the real hell gate that lies dormant beneath this city the sword that separates the human world from the demon world. I think you, the son of the Dark Knight Sparta, are the only one who can stop the savior now. Dante. Looks like you've got a rep to live up to. <laughs> Looks that way. Please, honor one last request. Save them, Kyrie and Nero. We need another protagonist, cause we lost the first one. Please, just for old time's sake, Dante. Sweep the city and evacuate the people. Hey, is this your way of ditching and dumping this you mess? You switch. It's cool. Let's stick to the plan. And there we go. Let's save our progress. Now for the ultimate game of backtracking. Featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Lend me your ears. But first, a word from Agnes. So that the true 
Utopia can be Well, he certainly is happy to have the Yamato. No, they're unleashing hell all over the universe. It's raining cats and dogs, mass hysteria. Whatever shall we do? Who will stop all this? Nah, man, we got the knights to help us out. What's the plural of Meph Mephisto? Mephisto? <laughs> I'm going with that. Mephisto. Not to be confused with Mephilus. What happens when you consume so much raw power? That's a solid performance for an old fart like you. Player change. You can now play as this handsome devil. All right, well, let's go ahead and start powering up. Everything has been refunded, so it's time now to work our way around this. Uh, first of all, I need Stinger, one of the most important moves that Dante has. Uh, what was Round Trip? Uh, I don't need Round Trip. Uh, do I need Stinger too? Well, let's let's work our way our way around some of these other abilities to see what we could do. Uh, charge Shot. I I don't actually need Charge Shot. Let's look at our styles, such as Trickster. Hmm. Swordmaster. Gunslinger. I definitely need to bring up my Gunslinger abilities for Swordmaster. Let's bring up that style. Let's see, what else? Style level four is the one that allows me to, uh, to teleport, right? I believe I'm going to need that one. Hmm. 
let me refund that one. And... Oh, I still can't afford it. difficult to pick out the good ones. I forget it. I'll give myself the royal guard that I need. Yeah, I know about the hammer jump cancel. For some reason, I never really got around to using it as often as I would have would have liked to. But I do do it a lot in my spare time now, believe me. I love doing the move a lot. It just never occurred to me when I was doing my, my stream. Alright. I think I have a good setup for the time being. Let's get started! For real! Alright. Alright, not bad. I got the groove a little bit. I just need more abilities and more weapons and then I'll have actually have some flow. And here we go! My most favorite enemies to fight against! I love these dudes, even if they are if they are a little bit annoying sometimes. The big scarecrows. What were they called? Mega scarecrows, right? Wing Talisman. Let's take this back so that we could go back down. Oh, 
There we go. God's power no longer resides here. Headquarters has begun to collapse. We better get the hell out of here. Quick! To the Batmobile! Just spin that until it breaks! Hyperspeed. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so far so good. I'm doing pretty decent with Dante, even if I don't have all his abilities yet. Sword, huh? Yes. Are oh, hi, Cleavage. How are you doing? Religion and I don't mix. It's a small congregation that gathers in the castle town of Fortuna. I guess the only people who would have heard of it are the ones who take. By the way, no lie, no joke. I don't think I've ever seen a pizza nicely detailed as the one that I see in this game. I don't think I've seen any other video game that that had a good-looking pizza texture. This is honestly one of the most craziest things I've ever seen ab um, about <laughs> gaming in general. The best looking pizza? Devil May Cry 4. Prove me wrong, man. Show me another video game that, that, sh that, that displays pizza th in the best looking way. I don't think, like, just, uh, just looking at this pizza alone makes me want to order pizza right now. Oh, yeah, I can zoom in the camera. Hold on. Not just demons. <laughs> They've also been targeting devil arms. Look at that pizza. Oh my god. Isn't that delectable? So what? Well, what if their intentions are foul? And there's a diabolical plan behind these apparently random acts. Well then, I'd have something to keep me occupied and Trish. Hmm. Things always gotta be complicated. <laughs> no kidding. I think they, they they definitely made Lady a lot more sexier in this game. It's kind of weird. Like, how old is Lady supposed to be in this version of the game? Okay, look. Bottom line... Devil May Cry 4 has the best looking pizza I have ever seen in a video game. That's pretty much what I wanted to say. If you could show me another video game that has a better looking pizza than this game, show it to me. I, I really want to see for myself, you know? Alright, let's power up. Let's see what else I can get. Not the charges just yet. I want to leave those for last. I can't bring up my styles just yet. And for double trigger, I'll have to leave that aside. Like, seriously, get more orbs is probably one of the worst abilities to purchase. I'll pass on this for now. Yes, of course age is just a number. You know what else is just a number? The amount of times you the amount of years you can be stuck in prison. So be careful what you're saying. <laughs> you don't want to cross that line. All right, here we go. The power of the forest, Master, is preventing you from escaping. This is the part that I really dread the most. Trying to remember the path through this whole entire area. It's a bit annoying.
All right, let's see. That was the first thing I bought, don't worry. Dante's enemy step is probably the most important ability I need to purchase. So that was my high priority. Don't worry. Believe me, I, I, <laughs> like, it may not look it, but I have spent a good amount of time playing as Dante, so I know some of the tricks that he can do. God, these dudes. I, yeah, those enemies are the worst. Alright, what do we got here? Don't worry, dude. I know how Mustang works. I don't have that ability yet, I believe.
it's so weird that I'm not able to switch to other weapons right now. I feel so naked without all these other abilities that I can do. It's really not weird. Everyone has their own personal preference when it comes to using weapons. Like a lot of people were telling me that uh, that Nevin was probably going to be a weapon that I would not use very often because of how difficult it was to use it. But I ended up using it regardless. And I love that weapon a lot. Okay, how did this work again? Let me see. This is a gentle forest, yet those who treat her unkindly will fall into darkness. Those who do not wish for darkness should seek the light, for if not, all efforts will be in vain. I see. It's, yet those who treat her unkindly will fall into darkness. Those who do not wish for darkness should seek the light, for if not, all efforts will be in vain. Okay, seek the light. Seek the light. Okay, so it's just literally follow the sun. And then... Ah, okay, I get it. You, you know I never n noticed that. I didn't realize that the shadows played a part. I feel like such a dweeb now. <laughs> that shows how good I am at playing this game. Even if I have been playing it for about 8 years or so. No, not even 8. Make that like 5 years. I swear, that laughter sounds like Phyllis Diller. Okay, time for the first boss for Dante. The plant chick. But I think I'm going to have a tough time fighting her just because I don't have the ability to warp with Trickster. Attention. I was beginning to feel a little ignored. You may jest, but the kindest fate I offer is to unify and spend eternity with a child of mine! As a pin as that sounds, I think I'll pass. It's time to fight Al Reune yet again. Yeah! 
one shot to the head. That's all you need. I don't claim to be amazing with Dante, but like I said, I'm no slouch. I have pra practiced a bit playing as Dante for a good long while in the Bloody Palace. And now we got the Gilgamesh. And ever since I finished playing Devil May Cry 3, I realize now just how terrible Gilgamesh is. I can't believe it, man. I honestly cannot go back to using Gilgamesh after enjoying Beowulf so much. But at the very least now with Gilgamesh I can jump cancel. Well actually I could have already jump cancelled with uh, regular Swordmaster attacks. Yeah, <laughs> this is gay, not bay. <laughs> the Gilgamesh. I am going to need that uh, uppercut, big time. Alright, on to the next mission. But first, as always, we gotta level up our abilities. Let's see, we are now at 4,000. And now we have Gilgamesh with Kick 13 and Flush. Oh, Flush is basically just, um... Attacking enemies with a regular jump. I would like kick 13, but I'll hold off on that just for a bit. Hold on. You know what? Let me refund this and put it towards Trickster. Ah, shit. I still don't have enough. What should I refund to be able to get more out of Trickster? Come on. Think, 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 think. Yeah, let me refund uh, Royal Guard. And yeah, let me refund Speed. We don't need Speed. Yeah, I bought speed a little bit ago, but I, I refunded it. And now I can get kick 13. Okay. There we go. 
As for items, we can get another purple orb. All right, cool. All right. All right. Oh no, not that way. All right. Let's move forward. Okay, so I'm starting to feel a lot better now with this setup that I got for Dante. Oh, are you serious? There we go. Okay. There we go. There we go. I really should incorporate Royal Guard into my moves, but I mean... <laughs> yeah, that's a whole nother level of muscle memory that I'm gonna have to look into. I do not have forward style uppercut. 
I think I do. Oh, I do. I do. There we go. I'm already feeling the groove with Dante yet again. I love this a lot. Yeah, with Dante, it's always about constant mobility. If you think you're gonna get hurt, you can either Royal Guard it or Trickster the shit out of there. I tend to go for the latter. And when it comes to playing as Dante, I do play cloth style, so I know how to switch styles uh, fairly quickly. I use my uh, my index finger to control the joysticks, and I have my thumbs on the on the D-pad at all time. Unfortunately, that was a very sad score, but I got a B out of that, so it's all right. Yes, I only have two thumbs. All right, I know I'm a pleb. Yeah, don't be sad. <laughs> ah, you guys are great. You're killing me, guys. Yeah, the finger, yeah, my index finger on the left stick. It doesn't bother me at all. I can do it just fine. Actually, no, hold on. Royal Guard level 2 allows me to uh, block in the air, right? Let me see if that's the case. Because I'm going to need it for a particular enemy that I'm going to be running into in a little bit. Yes. Perfect. Nope, I always use uh, an Xbox controller. I've always been an Xbox kind of guy.
Hey, look at this. It's blitz time, baby. All right, let's see if I can handle this guy. Come on. we go I don't have real impact though see I don't have that ability yet I have the uppercut version but I don't have the real impact version but I'll get that eventually yeah no blitz is an enemy that can piss off a lot of people and it pissed the hell out of me when I used to play the game too. Um, somebody on YouTube made a fantastic guide showing off how to fight against Blitz and also the whole um, Gilgamesh uh, Royal Guard canceling I learned that from uh, Dongri. Dongri likes to do that a lot so when I was watching his videos I'd be like oh man how does he do that I gotta pick up on how he does that and when I realized he was doing that trick, well, that's the first thing I learned uh, to do against this guy. The first floor is completely shrouded by the ice wall. Reaching the door to return to town is an impossible dream. To destroy this magical barrier of ice, it must be stopped at its source. Trust me, I really want Pandora just as badly as you do. It's one of my favorite weapons. Okay, who am I fighting against?
I know how to do the royal release. I just don't do it very often, but I should. I know. Don't you mean ice one there, since you guys keep throwing out those crazy puns? Virgil's focus mechanic is a very cool one. No pun intended. Seriously. I really do like his concentration meter. It's what really sets the, 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 the bar between the boys and the men's in terms of skills. Oh, looks like I gotta go through that door. My jump canceling is a little off right now. I know how to I know how to do it. It's like I have to slide my finger across the buttons like this. Something like that. But my timing is a little off. So yeah, I'm I'm just practicing. Whenever I see frost, that's when I practice my jump cancels. In the middle of all the other attacks that I'm doing.
Is it time that we fight against the giant frog? I certainly hope so. Oh yes, here we go! One of my favorite enemies. Yeah, baby. Shake for me. Oh, yeah. Daddy like. I love that Dante just likes to ice skate around like it's no problem. That, to me, is the definition of style. Wonder why Dante doesn't have a skating ability. God damn it! Finally, Pandora! One of my most favorite weapons in the game. He wasn't kidding. It's like an all-you-can-eat buffet. 660 gun formations. 666. You know, it would have been nice if they had brought back Pandora, but with different guns in order to fill out the 666 quota.
This fucking cutscene is amazing. And yeah, the shuriken is a little less than amazing. Just because of the way it works in the actual game. Also, we fell down the hole. There we go. That's the move that I love. Okay, I think I have time for one more mission. I'm actually having too much fun with Dante, but it is getting late over here. Let's see. Oh my god, this freaking mission. I forgot about this one. Let's see, skill up. Guns. Pandora. What do we got? Revenge. Oh yeah, this move. Uh, I'll hold on to that one for a bit. Um, instead, let's bring up Gunslinger to level 3. Trickster's already filled up. Um, I think that's about it. That's all I can really do. Well, actually, yeah, let me go back to the guns and give it hatred. There we go. All right, let's do it. Here we go with the poison gas bit. As if I didn't have enough obstacles already. <sighs> A poisonous gas permeates the air. You must escape before your life is drained. Oh my god, these creatures are the worst! There we go. Much better. Yeah, I hope we don't end up in that situation. Every enemy should be fun to fight against. They can be tough, sure, but as long as they're fun to fight against, that's what's more important. Give us a good challenge, but not something that's just stupid like these f swimming creatures. Also, fuck the dice. Let's, let's just cut that shit up in half and continue.
back to the science lab. It is no longer painful to breathe. The poisonous gas must not reach this area. Good to know that I don't have to be uh, doing everything really fast anymore. By eliminating its source, the magical barrier of ice has been melted. It looks like you'll be able to leave the castle now. Oh, well, that's good to know. Let's get the fuck out of here. I think this might be the end of the mission. Oh yeah, these creatures, the bloodhounds. I actually like fighting against these dogs. They're a bit annoying, but they're still fun to fight against. Yeah! <laughs> 
And so the the storm's picking up. It's getting cold, but it doesn't seem to be affecting Dante at all. That's falling with style. the spot to get out from here. Okay, here we are. Let's see if I can handle this guy. There we go. You surpass my abilities. How shameful. You can stay and die. Or you can walk your ugly ass back through that gate. It's your call, pal. <laughs> I've retreated once and will not do so again. Once again, a single bullet is all you need. 
was hoping for a bit more than just a few sparks. And with that, we got Lucifer. Time for a little tango! It is their forbidden dance! Ole, mi amigo! Vamos, vamos! Para mi amor, Carmen! Ay, Dios mío! Mi corazón es solamente para mi amor. ¡Ole! Ay, pero si sí con mi corazón se quebró. Vaya con Dios. Lucifer, a hellish weapon capable of summoning an infinite number of exploding blades that hover ominously in the air. It also gives you the ability to throw out this little rose. All right, let's move on forward. Only one style remains and that's Dark Slayer, but we're gonna have to leave that for another time. SSD. That means I got plenty of space. All right. Yeah, I think I'm done for the night. As much as I want to continue playing the game, I'm getting a little bit tired. Ah, uh, well... I hope you guys are enjoying the way I play as Dante. Again, I'm not super amazing, but I can hold my own. Alright. Yeah, alright. Ooh, we're getting to the end of the game. Ah, oh, I am so tired. How long must I go on? Well, I've been working in the coal mine, going down, down, working in the coal mine. Whoop, I'm about to slip down. By the, <laughs> by the way, I really love that song. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> I'm done for the night, guys. For anybody who was crazy enough to watch this stream tonight, I thank you all so very, very much. I am definitely enjoying this game a lot. I've always loved this game. This was my first introduction to Devil May Cry, and you can sort of see how I can handle playing as Dante. When it comes to playing as Dante, I play the game claw style, and I know for some people that's like, how the hell do you do that with the Xbox controller? To which I just reply very carefully. I'm pretty good with using the Xbox controller. I know a lot of people prefer the DualShock, but that's just the way I roll. Anyway, yeah, it's time for me to hit the hay, guys. So, thank you all so very much. Thank you, Trollzor. Thank you, Rover Buddies. Thank you, Last Gogeta. Thank you, um, anybody else who stopped on by to watch this crazy stream tonight. I know Chroma stopped by. I know Sighting Panda Man slid by, um, among other people. But, yeah... It's time for me to say my goodbyes. Same time tomorrow, everybody? Oh, yeah. Shane and Josh. I almost forgot about you. Sorry about that. All righty, guys. Well, I'm so glad you guys enjoyed this, this particular steam stream tonight. I'm pretty sure it'll turn out fine in the very end. All righty. It's time for me to put a stop to this. See you later, everybody. Bye-bye then.